Hey everybody, it's Steve. I'm uh, here and I'm here to show another theme. This one today is going to be a religious theme. It's a beautiful theme. Uh, I do theme uh, reviews for WordPress and today I bring another one for you. I bring them hopefully every day, a couple, sometimes three or four, two or three, three or four a day, depending on what my, what my workload is. But uh, I've been pushing some out lately. Uh, you can go check them out later on, but today let's go ahead and take a look at this particular uh, religiously based theme. It, this one's uh, called Nazareth Church theme, and uh, of course you can adjust it to uh, whatever your needs are, a synagogue or, or whatever uh, uh, choice you have, right, based on your religious convictions. And uh, let's go ahead and just get into it and go from there. Okay, so we're in. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one's a Nazareth theme. It's a very nice theme. It's full featured in the in its ability to uh, to deliver a message to the parishioners and to uh, other people who might want to join uh, whatever church or synagogue or or the religious establishment that you have to offer. And this one here is very very nice. If you look down, you can see that it uh, looks really nice here. Watch our message. Uh, watch this uh, message. Uh, let's go down a little bit farther. Listen to our sermon. So you can upload sermons in here and attach them in here. Uh, keep people inspired. Ones that have, to a, who might have missed the uh, sermons can come back. And you, if you have a podcast, we can in integrate a podcast solution into this website as well. Join our community. They have a men's breakfast, for example, in this particular sample. Here's more events. We'll go there in a second. And let's scroll down here. Nice comment, you know, right here. You could put in here, contacts, get directions on the locations or location. Our mission, uh, what are your beliefs in your mission statement here about us? Community, which is always important. A little more information there. Support the mission, and then there's a donate button. So if you want to have somebody donate uh, on an ongoing basis or whenever they can, they can do that with a couple different uh, scrolling features. In this section, you could, add, you could add five of them, four of them, three of them, whatever you want to do. And then right here, get involved, get people involved. Look how nice that is. And then also links down here based on what you guys have available. So if you're doing video streaming, you're doing um, podcasts, things like that, we can integrate a lot of that inside of this particular theme. Uh, if you have to, if you want to create, uh, have web forms in here, for different things, we can do that. Let's go to the top real quick here. And let's go ahead and check out the second version of this. And then we'll get into the third vision or version. Here's the second version. It's a the same thing here. All right. And you can see up here, it's already got the a, a sermon right here, which is nice. It's got the donate button up at the top. It's got the social network connections right here in this area right here. And um, keep going down here. Our latest video, latest podcast, celebration, upcoming events, things like that. Find a church location. That's a really nice feature in that. Once again, mint, mint section here. Watch our latest serv uh, sermon. It's got the church calendar, which is a really nice feature if you want to put the church calendar in here and add it uh, and adjust it over time. Our mission, community, again, and some real simple links down at the bottom here. I like that one because it shows, uh, it gives people direct access to a, a calendar section that they can see and preview what's coming on, what's going on with the church or the, the establishment. Well, let's go to the third one and check that out. Find out how different it is. Okay, so here's that one. We have it over here. More of a box view in the top here. Same sort of thing here. Here we go. Notice how this is a, a, a yellowy area over here. You have more brown yellow and then it's white or white here. So it's got like an overlay skin on top of it for that type of visual experience. These guys have really done a nice job in building this specific theme. We can adjust it to whatever your needs are, make it your own, 
change out some imagery imagery message get involved and then this look down here now we have one more version of this we'll go to the top here and this one is going to be the uh, the home box view or version we'll show you what that is this is more of a traditional style view where you have a boxy area here and this utilization of the outer space isn't utilized so you get an idea of what that's about using the same elements but just uh, encapsulating them differently within the frames of the uh, of the site to give a certain look differentiate differentiate yourself very nice right another nice one <clears throat> excuse me so let's go to the top here let's go ahead and take a look at the the about page let's go back to the home page here and then we'll go over to the about page okay let's go to the about page now see if that clicks through okay it's pound okay our mission nice looking See how nice they've just done a very nice job with, with this theme overall. Our beliefs. What to expect. What we believe in. They've just done a really nice job on this theme. The leadership team, our staff. So buttons here for youth and volunteers and mission and things like that city outreach all that kind of stuff we can add pages and design it the way you want it based on what your needs are let's go to the preacher section and this would showcase the different uh, preachers elders whatever label you want to use with their social connections we can include those or remove them volunteer staff of course, we, we can add and adjust as needed the amount of people that are in there based on your needs. Now, all of this is mobile responsive, so it's going to compress and expand based on whatever device it is, whether it be a, 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 a what do you call it, a, a showcase view here going left and right, or whether it go up and down. Either way, it will look nice. Let's go to connect. See where that takes us. get connected how to get connected so that's a nice call to action right to get more people to come to your church or your your uh, religious uh, location synagogue whatever it may be right very nice and now we're going to go over here to uh, the blogging page we'll go to all posts and then a classic view and then a portfolio view Well, that's really nice. I really like that. Real clear, nice imagery. You do the same thing with some imagery that's local to you, and it's just going to look absolutely fantastic. See how that looks, right? So notice how it has a calendar here, and it has tags. So we can do that. And then a recent post right here, comments. So if you've got comments coming from people uh, posting comments, they can be pulled in and dropped right there. Categories, you can select the types of categories or change out the categories based on what your, your specific needs are and what do you want to link, link articles to, post to. And let's go down the bottom real quick here. Okay, sorry, I'm not trying to move that quick, but uh, I am, aren't I? So let's go ahead and click on one of these. Take a look at it, see what it looks like. So I like this. I like this very big, wide, large area up in the front here with some type of, of statement, right? Uh, this can be adjusted, uh, and each one of these can be different based on, uh, or it can be, actually, I believe it's consistently the same up here when I think about it, so I have to correct myself. Uh, we'd put some nice call to action or some nice statement here. Social. We could take this out or leave it in, you know, about the author, that kind of stuff. 
These are also you also may like, so there may be other articles that are similar to other articles based on the a subject. Leave a reply, so at the comment section you can add that, we can remove it, whatever you want to do with it. And uh, so we did that, we did that, we did blog, classic style. Let's go to the classic style. And we're going to go to, uh, we're going to see the classic style and then two column. So that's the classic style, if you like that particular look. I happen to like that look because you get more, uh, in a shorter space, you get more blogs to view with imagery, which it causes people to stay on your site longer. And therefore, they're going to more likely click on it if they see an image or they see a caption, you know, that they are interested in. So that's good for you. And we'll go over here. Whoop, features, blog. And then we go to, let's go to the three column. That's the three column there. More of an image based type of thing that would link to it. If you didn't want to say uh, that, or let's say you want to just showcase images uh, of outings of, of, uh, of, of place it, uh, places where you've served, you know, could the community, stuff like that. Classic style. Uh, we'll just go ahead and click on the classic style one column. Take a look at what that looks like. So there's the one column. You could do it this way. So if you just want to showcase not a lot of stuff, but you want to be able to put um, some some articles in that are relevant and important, uh, that you could you could use this particular style instead. And let's go back over. Classic. Come on. Okay, let's go to two column. That's an interesting look too, isn't it? Nice block look. Full page, I like that, full page. It also compresses it nicely into, into a mobile tablet, you know, all the different devices. I really like that, that's a nice look in my view. And we'll go to the three column, uh, three, yeah, three column. So three column, you must have a, you probably want to have a lot of content already that you want to put in or rapidly put stuff in. What you can do is you can start out with this particular uh, look and then you can migrate it over into a, a larger or start with a smaller one and then migrate it into a uh, something like this as a look if you have a lot of content and i got that done and let's go ahead we took oh blog portfolio we did that already i think we did that let's go ahead and just take a look at one of them Yeah, I think we did that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and move over into uh, a gallery section. Let's go ahead and take a look at the masonry view. So once again, if you want to include imagery that would tell a story, this is a nice look. So you could have, uh, you know, just take pictures throughout the year, put them in here. And you can see how they're linked. So if we click on a link, it opens it up. In this case, it opens it up. It shows a full picture. But what you can do is you can link to it. So it could link to like an Instagram page or uh, some social networking, things like that, and then have a whole a whole thing on uh, on imagery or uh, a storyline or video. You can link it to a video on YouTube, uh, on your other side, wherever you want. It's just a great way to interact with people on an ongoing basis. So just some ideas here. And we'll go to the cobbles, cobbles view here. I happen to like the cobble view as well. Once again, you could link to uh, uh, to the YouTube and Twitter and all the social places if you want to in here. And you could you know you could write content on top of these images, bring content in, and then have it be a link as a call to action to something. And if you look at this one, this one's based on categories. So you've got all stories, programs, and missions. So you could break it down into those uh, three different categories, programs, missions, and stories, and have those images with writing on them be linked <clears throat> to other parts of the site, and it just gives it a nice look and feel. And we'll go to the grid view here. 
excuse me, traditional grid view right there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, the uh, events page. Okay, so we have a men's event here. Let's go ahead and read it. Campus, ladies, worship, youth, you know, men's, whatever it may be. So let's take a look at one of these. We'll click on it, read more. Now, if you had more in here, it would, it would drop in more. So this is a page that actually talks about that event. So you could have it be a scheduled event. You could have people click on that, have this link to the home page, which it probably already is. Actually, it is. And then um, you can go ahead and <clears throat> schedule an event, but you can also uh, add it to your iCalendar. You know, people that are looking at the site can add it to iCalendar or iCal, and it will give you all the information. And it just, it's a, just a nice, nice way to do it, <clears throat> excuse me, to set that up for events. Now we'll go over to contacts. And here's contact information. Map, that kind of stuff. And if you look down here, there's also so social down here. Okay, so let's go back to the home page. <coughs> Excuse me, geez. Thought I went to the home page. There we go. Okay, so I actually think this is a really nice theme. It's uh, it's innovative. It's new. It's got a new look. Um, I am here. Let's take a look at what that does. Takes it to this page. Let's go back a, a page real quick. I want to click on a couple of home buttons. Some of the links within the home page. Now, obviously, these links can go anywhere. We can adjust them to take them where you want them to go. Watch this mess. This message comes to this page. Now that's nice. You know, you can have an image here, and then you can have a video that talks about what your uh, whatever that subject line is, that call to action. So that's off, uh, awfully nice. It's very very nice. And then um, we'll go back to the home page again. Notice the donate button also, which is nice. We clicked on that. More podcasts, so we could take it to a podcast page. <clears throat> now it could be on a podcast page like this, or or a page like this, or it could be um, we can take something like this and have it just be its own page with all your podcasts. It could be your Alexa. You know, I have a friend of mine in the real estate space that does uh, a daily podcasts on Alexa in his local area and he's got quite a following now because he every single day he does a a, a podcast about uh about some restaurant or or pickleball or whatever whatever it's going on in the community in his area based on the time of the year and it's actually become very successful for him he's become well known and he's doing uh, doing very well for himself so more events plan a visit so let's go back up to the top here and i want to just um do one more thing here, I think. Let's go ahead and click on the donate button. Okay, so this one here, what this would normally do is um, it says make a donation, which is perfect, and it gives a donation, a couple of different donation styles, right? Going down here. And you could have different levels of donations and then have, you know, choose your own donation, I'm sure, depending on what, what, uh, what solution you're using, whether it be PayPal or Stripe or some type of uh, integration where you're having a donation, you know. And you could probably set it up as an ongoing donation monthly through Stripe and through PayPal where it's recurring. That's another uh, opportunity possible. So you can see it's just very, very nice what they've done to this particular theme. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to it. And let's go ahead and conclude this one. And then uh, down the road here, we'll move on to another one. So very nice. And if you look at this one, I just noticed this. Here's a video that pops up. So you can play an intro video right here. So you can see how nice that would look uh, for uh, for you uh, in your uh, your church or whatever it may be. And uh, it's just very, very nice. So if you have some interest in this particular theme, would like to have a consultation, a strategy session, find out more about it, talk about me about uh, with me about uh, what you're trying to do, your short-term, your long-term goals, and uh, and then go into some other things. Uh, would love to do that. Let's go ahead and find out how. Well, right here is how you do it. 949-648-7563. That's 949-648-7563.
And you can get hold of me in a number of different places. You can go ahead and contact me right over here. I'll just show you in a second here. Hopefully my come on. There we go. Okay. So you can get a hold of me over at right here on this site. SteveLennon.com. I do actually do all my reviews that you're seeing right now, and I post them to this site. So if you're looking for other reviews, you can certainly go there. Uh, down the road here, I'll be doing uh, software as a service uh, reviews. I'll be, in, I'll be doing technology and software reviews, uh, product reviews. i uh, be offering things, just all kinds of good stuff on this particular uh, uh, website on an ongoing basis. So always come back, check it out, you know. And you can see I, uh, I have a lot of interesting things on here. I do full reviews like I do it, like I'm doing with this one. I post it, and uh, you know, people come back, watch it, read it, do what they do. So um, let's go ahead and go back to the top real quick here. And what I'd like to do is go ahead and close this one out uh, one more time. You can get a hold of me right there, and um, you can. We'll go ahead and close it out here and click on this other button here. And you can Twitter me here and do the tweet thing over here at Steve Lennon and uh, at Steve Lennon uh, uh, at Instagram. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Instagram. At I Need WordPress. At I Need WordPress is my Facebook channel. And uh, please like me and subscribe. I do appreciate it. I don't take it lightly. And, uh, you know, it helps me grow my... Uh, <clears throat> My social connections and that's what I like. I like to get to know people and uh, let's talk. If you have some interest in, in, in learning some things about this stuff, anything else, uh, and um, we'll go from there. Okay. So enjoy your day. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.